If you want to improve your sewing skills, this video is for you. If you've never worked with a sewing machine, this is your chance to discover the world of sewing with us. Our online course will be interesting for you. You'll receive a lot of useful skills and sewing tips from Irina Paukste. Make the first move to your perfect dress. Click the link in the description of this video to register for the challenge course. Enter your email in the registration box, click the button, and that's it. Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today we'll talk about outerwear clothing and for this review I took a book called Essential Fashion Illustration Details. Autumn has come and winter is not far off. That's why I decided to take this book for review. I've got so many thoughts about outerwear clothing. Well, after looking at these pages, you'll have a broad overview of what outerwear is. A lot of people think, oh, a coat. What's the big deal? It's just a coat. But there are a lot of different coat designs. I will show you them. This book is in English. I translated it to Russian, not the whole book, just some of the new words for me. Here are some of my notes. As I said earlier, there are a lot of different kinds of coats. Let's talk about modern fashion. Outerwear coats are so trendy nowadays. Some time ago, outerwear clothing was decorated with little elements. The more elements it had, the better it looked. Today, it's not trendy. Nowadays, outerwear clothing is more loose and comfortable with dark colors like navy blue or soft colors like beige or blush, but the colors should be natural. For example, navy blue, beige or blush, or something like that. Mixed and bright colors aren't trendy anymore. The garment should have a pure color and few small decorative elements. Don't forget about pocket size. Before, you could have one pocket there and a second pocket here, for example. Today, pockets should be spacious and comfortable. The garment should look good without undue pieces. Let's start our review. Of course, we'll discuss this book a little. I have something to talk to you about. It's a good time. If you're sewing your own coats or winter outerwear clothing, you need to be careful and check the fashion trends. For example, some seasons ago, it was fashionable to wear tapered coats with style lines. Find some designs you like, which of course will suit you. We should always look beautiful and trendy. It's true. So let's begin. We start with the usual coats. This coat looks like a jacket. Look here, it's a frock coat. The dart started from the pocket, a double welt pocket, a lap, a roll collar, a vent with three buttons. It's a classic design. The second one is a frock coat with a Mao style collar. Look at this collar stand. The collar stand was not drawn toe to toe. You can combine this coat with a silk or a cashmere scarf or a palatine. It should be visible here. Don't make our co collar toe to toe as we did a long time ago. Some style lines. I think we shouldn't make classic coats with a tapered sleeve or a tapered in general. Outerwear clothing should be comfortable. A smart coat with a tulip collar. We did such collars so many times. A dart. Look at those pockets. They're visible. Little pockets don't look good with this design. Look at the vents with buttons. If you make this coat for yourself, it will suit your whole wardrobe. First of all, if you don't button the top button, this collar will fit very well. Great, here will be a buttonhole, here will be a button. A perfect collar, a perfect coat, it will always be trendy. Look at 
What's next? This coat is called a marine style coat. I can call it a pea coat. In Russian, we call this style pea coat. I've got the navy blue pea coat, but it's not exactly a pea coat. This coat is more like a pea coat. But I like my navy blue coat so much. Look at these lapels, a wide collar, patch pockets, and of course, two rows of buttons, the marine style coat. I like it. Keep going. It's a classic double-breasted coat with patch pockets, flaps and straps. Pay your attention. The straps shouldn't be small. We made a little strap with a button at our channel. Look here. Pay attention to this. If you decide to make a sleeve with a strap, it shouldn't be small. It should be wide. I repeat once again, little decorative pieces aren't trendy nowadays. Pay your attention when buying or making. At the back of this coat, you can see two buttons and a half belt, a vent, and one seam. Pretty classic coat. A minimalist coat. I think there can be some kind of dart here. Look at those vertical offset welts. It's convenient to put your hands into the pocket. Perfect. I like it so much. Look, belt loops, a belt, usual sleeves with rolls, a minimalist coat. I can say this coat is a must-have. I think it's buttoned by snap fasteners or a stud front, but there's no line for a stud front. The coat looks like that, but you can decide what fastener to make on it. An overlapped stand. If you unbutton the collar, it will look like a wide open collar. It looks nice. When it's hot, you open this stand collar and it looks like a wide open collar. You can try on a silk or a cashmere handkerchief, a perfect minimalist coat. It's also fashionable, fashionable but it's not a wrap coat. There's no wrap coat in this book. A trench coat, the front side and the back side. Trench coats always have a fall edge collar and shoulder straps. Look at the strap here. It has a clasp with a fastener. It's a trench coat attribute only. Look at the belt. Do you see it here? A gorgeous trench coat. The next jacket is a Montgomery. Its attributes are the wooden buttons. They always look like a cusp or something like that. It also has such leather triangles attached to the jacket. They're always made from leather. Do you like this fastener? The same fastener here. Patch pockets, yokes here and on the back, one seam fastener and a hood. It's a classic Montgomery jacket. I think this kind of coat can be combined with street style clothes or ethnic style clothing. This jacket is a classic English style. If you like it, you're welcome. Carefully choose shoes and clothes for this jacket. Honestly, it's not my style, but I like it. If I was into that style, I would definitely make it for myself. Keep it in mind. Next, ooh, a balloon coat. It can be different. Look at the collar stand with a button. Set in pockets. This is our favorite pattern. If I'm not mistaken, we've learned it so many times. For example, as a Chanel style jacket, a sweatshirt, and so on. You can choose any ease you like here. The pattern is familiar to you. A wonderful balloon coat. Absolutely. A raincoat. It can be just a coat. A classic coat made from a fine fabric. It is also fashionable. An A-line coat. It can be double-breasted or single-breasted. It can be with a turned-down collar, with a wide collar, and without a collar, with one button. Or with a stand collar. 
It can be double-breasted or single-breasted. Here's a stand. You can choose any color you like. It's better to make hidden pockets in an A-style coat. Do you know how to make hidden pockets? Will it be interesting for you? Write your comments, please. In my thinking, they're convenient. You can open the pocket, put your hand into it, or zip it up. Very comfortable. It looks good without visible pockets. A lovely coat. It is trendy, too, like a balloon coat. A retro-style coat. Wow, I like this style so much. The usual loose-fit coat with loose sleeves, with a turned-down collar, any shape you like, and two pockets with buttons. Looks cool. Flared coats look lovely. Unfortunately, nowadays, such flared coats aren't sold ready-made. I like this design. Choose garments that you like and which suit you. If you like a style or design, if it's flared or not, double-breasted or single-breasted, please make it or buy it. Look at this gathered sleeve. It's pretty. Make it if you like. It won't look old-fashioned. Keep going. What's next? Look at this page. These are bomber jackets. What's the difference between them? Only those corners and that's all. In a classic bomber jacket, elastic ribbon doesn't reach to this level. This is a classic bomber jacket. In a classic tracksuit top, the elastic band is placed here. There we can see a button. It's good. We can make a raglan sleeve or a set-in sleeve. Nowadays, we see lots of bomber jackets with set-in sleeves. It's a synthetic rubber. Look here. This gorgeous coat is made of synthetic rubber. Some decorative elements. Here's the yoke here, one pocket, the second pocket, the third one, a fastener on the sleeve. It's old fashioned, as I said earlier, because of the decorative elements. Nowadays, this is not trendy. Less decorative elements. Look at those jackets, all different kinds of jackets. Ooh, insulated jackets. Just take a waterproof fabric for it. Take buttons or a zipper as fasteners. The main thing is this coat should be comfortable and warm. If a coat constricts your movements, it's not a coat. Work carefully, please. Here's an anorak, a poncho with pockets and a hood. What a lovely poncho. The hood, raglan sleeves, and a self-belt. Perfect. I think it's enough for today. We have reviewed a lot of different coat designs. I would like to say when you choose a coat for yourself, first of all, choose the color that suits you and then combine it with your wardrobe. For example, you take a bright color, make a coat, and then realize you can't combine it with any of your clothes. Maybe you don't have suitable boots for it. And then what do you do? Put it in the closet? Please, choose the color carefully when you sew or buy a coat. Pay attention to the length of the garment. For example, it can be a mini, midi, or a maxi. Longer or shorter, it doesn't matter. Because a coat is a complicated item. I repeat once again, choose outerwear carefully. For example, you made a midi coat, but your dresses or skirts are longer than the coat. In Paris, a lot of women wear coats shorter than their skirts or dresses. If you can combine a short coat with a long dress or skirt, it's okay. I don't like it. What about you? Write your comments, please. In my opinion, if a bright skirt is longer than, for example, a green coat, it looks strange because it's not my style. So, next, you can make a raglan sleeve or a set-in sleeve. Choose any size or shape. The necessary thing is comfort.
So I want to say we are releasing some new courses for you. A mom's jeans course, the two-piece sleeve course, and two more courses about trousers and stud front making. Stay tuned. I love coats so much. Of course, I can make skirts, dresses, jackets, and etc., but it's not my passion. Coats. It's my passion from youth and childhood. I really love coats. Look closely at coats. They're great items. We're releasing one more course about coat making soon. Stay tuned. You can rewatch our videos. We've released a lot of different videos about collars and pockets and outerwear clothing. I hope they will be helpful to you. Just rewatch. Maybe you'll find something new. I really like sharing my knowledge with you. Choose perfect outerwear for yourself. Especially a coat, as I would. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you like this review. Be your own kind of beautiful. Click the like button and share our videos in social media and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste and the rest of our team.